just telling you about the power of spinoffs, but just how far can that take you? When big companies break themselves up and split off a smaller division as an independent business, it can create a tremendous amount of value. It's easier for Wall Street to get its collective head around a focused, bite-sized company, and investors are more likely to buy the stocks of companies that they can understand. Sooner or later, though, that value gets baked in. Consider the case of WellBuilt, WBT. It's the maker of kitchen equipment for the restaurant industry. It was spun up by Manitowoc. That's a crane manufacturer last year. Clearly, the company behind Frymaster didn't belong under the same roof with the construction play. Sure enough, last year, well-built stock rallied 40% from the spinoff. So far in 2017, it's tacked on about 10%, although it's been weak of late after reporting a quarter that some believe was below analyst estimates. So let's check in with Hubertus Muehlhauser. He's the CEO of Well-Built. Find uh, how the company's doing and where it is headed. Mr. Muehlhauser, welcome back to Bad Money. Jeff, Good to thank see you. Very much. All right, since the spinoff, and you said on it, you said on our show, yeah. it would matter tremendously in order to be able to be more laser focused. How's it been? It has been great, I think, and um, and I think this year is, um, I mean, our performance is as expected. I would say we we basically promised more performance improvement, higher EBITDA numbers, and um, and we promised last year a journey of a thousand basis points. In year one, we did 330. This year, we are very well to do another 150 to 200. So at the end of the year, we're going to be halfway through that journey, and also on the top line, um, actually. The industry is challenged. However, right. we are outgrowing the industry right now. Well, and it's challenged but because there's so many competitors or because the industry is not growing fast enough? No, the industry is not growing. The industry right. was called down. It is growing, but on a slower pace right. initially expected. In the beginning of the year, growth was foreseen around 2% in the mm -hmm. industry. It was called down to 1% to 2%. Right. And we were, by mid-year, growing already 3.4% organically. And then despite right. a small decline in Q3, which we anticipated, right. we we're still up. So we we are up 1.7% handily outgrowing all our competitors in the space. So we're very happy with the performance. Okay, so you've got Middle B, we have uh, Illinois Toolworks, good company. Uh, that, yeah. the, the company at Marmon Group that's owned by uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Yes. I imagine you have to distinguish yourself by technology, particularly the Internet of Things. So tell me about some of the, of the things you're up to to be able to make it so that maybe there's less labor costs or maybe yeah. le less electricity, smaller uh, footprint. Yeah, we see ourselves as leaders in what we call fit kitchen system sales. So, so there, there's one big distinction from us and the competitors, that is we own all the different components of the system. So at WellBuild, you get everything from an ice machine, walk-in refrigeration, but also the complete hot side. And what we're doing right now, specifically for those large QSRs, we're bundling, we're quick, connecting quick our serve. equipment, quick serve restaurants, right. we're connecting our equipment in order to get efficiency um, savings, to get, to get energy energy savings to get labor down, more automation. Right. And that's how we distinguish. And we do this with a very, very specific approach, which is Fit Kitchen. And we have this integrated R&D backbone that we are working side by side with the largest companies. And we talked about this this year. Right. We won year to date 12 large system um, rollouts, so to say, projects where we work side by side with these large companies, and we're fairly unique in that, and this was excites us. Well, everybody should know, I mean, there's Starbucks, McDonald's, Subway, Pizza, I mean, you're in all the big ones, and I imagine once you're in, you've also got great maintenance, right? Those, that's a very sticky business once you're in. That is a very sticky business, and that is also the reason why the IoT is so important, the, the Internet, Internet of, things. of okay. things. What we're doing right now is we're connecting our equipment not only in order to be able to automate, but also to be able to upload information into the cloud that is very, very important for those operators that you just mentioned because they would like to do data analytics. They would right. like to see how can I extend the, the, the shelf life of my oil, for example, in a fryer. But at the same time, it's for us very important because we do predictive, preventive maintenance. So we would like to know which spare part is going to fail before it fails okay. in order to guarantee uptime. And that is the exciting development with IoT, and we're investing a lot of money into that. Okay, so what do you do if, if people feel that a particular industry is overstored, like restaurants. I mean, can you go, uh, is there, you do food service, you do hospital, you, you can do everybody, but if it's slow, if restaurants really do slow down, what can we do? Just take well, share from the other guys? We will take share. We're taking share this year. You see that. So do you think and you our, can go to be number one? Oh, I know yes, absolutely. Our you strategy, do. Oh, very clearly. Our strategy is very clear to become number one again in the industry. Wellbuild right. was number one. We want to be back there where we once been. And, um, and we're outgrowing the industry right now this year, even though our standard intent was just to grow with the market, but we're right. outgrowing. And next year, we want to outgrow the industry by 100, 200 basis points. But to come back to your question, 
what what you're seeing right now is that 60% of our business is with the restaurants. Right. And um, and you might say that there are too many restaurants around. However, all of those restaurants need to invest in order to right. stay relevant. They need to invest into the freshness of the food, into variety. Right. So so basically, we are we are seeing right now that these restaurants, despite being in a difficult mm -hmm. industry, are investing in order to stay relevant. Some are going to succeed, right. some are going to invest and not going to succeed, but they, they're all investing and that's what we're seeing and that's why this industry is so healthy and always growing, despite on a slower level right now. Right, well, I think you guys, whoever offers the best, te best technology and best service wins and I know you guys are doing, doing that right now. That's you, Burgess Muehlhauser, President and CEO of Well-Built WBT, outgoing industry and taking share from the other guys. Man, money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.